Day McVeigh and happy Thursday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. Happy birthday today to Luis Guzman Cabrera in our fifth grade and Grace Key in our second grade. All right. Our lunch today is the all beef hot dog. We also have boar's head chicken and cheese. We have grilled cheese and bagel lunch. All right, boys and girls, we're doing a great job lining up so we can get out of the cafeteria quickly and get the next group in. All right, so here we are. Wordle. Some classes think they know this word. I've given some clues about the vowel being the second most used vowel in our language. I've given clues about the consonants. Three of the most used consonants in our language, in our words, in our writing. I gave the definition. I said, well, I didn't give the definition. I gave an example. I said, this word describes all of our children here. And so today I'm going to give a part of speech. This is an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. So if this word describes all of us, we are the nouns. We are people. This is a word that describes all of you. And it's about McVeigh. See if you can figure that out. I did get several answers that are correct. I'll announce them tomorrow. Now, our mystery number. Dun, dun, dun. So we know it's even. We know that it is less than seven. We also know it has four letters. It has one of the most used consonants. And it does not have the most used vowel. So it has one of the most used consonants, but it does not have one of the most used vowels. In fact, it has the least used vowel. My number has the vowel that is used the least in our language. The least amount of times this is that vowel. It's in my word. And my number, you ready? Listen carefully, is a homophone. My number is also a homophone. So if you think you know the number, use my clues today and check your answer to see if you're right. Okay, now, uh, here we go. Here's the Get Smart Project. The big four. All right. This is by Maddie Teamsma. Maddie, this is so awesome. I love this. Maddie of the Get Smart Show made her own big four. In the morning, in fourth grade, the, uh, boys and girls do the big four. That's four math problems. And in fifth grade, they do the fab five. Okay, well, Maddie made her own. And look at the effort she put into these. Now, that was our word of last week, effort. She tried really hard. She came up with some awesome problems. She was able to put an image of a protractor in there, get an angle, an obtuse angle on that. We have uh, multiplication, two by two, two numbers by two numbers, and then she even created a space for checking. Of course, that's what we always do. We check our work. That's what we do here at McVeigh. And then a word problem, and then she did the daily language where we get better at using punctuation, better at using words. And I'll get to this tomorrow in a mighty kind moment of the day. I'm not going to go to this one today because I have a different one. Here it is. Let's get our drum roll. Da -da. Well, today, massive shout out to Avery in room 216. Avery did something super mighty kind. 
So, Avery, you know what that is. So, one of his friends was doing something super hard. And Avery did it with him. Yeah. Could you imagine? So, uh, and I asked him, I sat with him, I said, well, well, hi. What He said, well, he's been my friend for a long time and I wanted to support him in what he's doing. That's, that's kindness. That's when uh, kindness becomes different. When you do something that's super hard for yourself, you give up of yourself for somebody else. Wow, Avery. Well done. Uh, I know all of you have that in you as well. Why? Because you're mighty minds. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.